Hey everybody, welcome back to DIY Boomboxes in Texas. My name is Phil, your host, and we have a technical video this week. I got a question about a week ago on one of my videos about how to charge your lead acid batteries externally on your box. You don't have to open your box and clamp on your battery thing there. How to have some sort of an external charging port. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that I do it. I'm going to show you how to do it with a dry box or a box that's not going to get wet and I'm also going to show you how to do it with a waterproof box as well and show you the different techniques that I use. Now one thing I want to say is these lead acid batteries are fantastic but I want to really advise you guys if you're going to use a lead acid battery get a deep cycle battery like this one right here. This one here's a 15 amp hour it actually goes in this box right here. That's what I got to show you. The reason being is the regular lead acid batteries are not are just like a car battery. They're designed to work over a short period of time. They're not designed for a constant draw and recharge. And they're not going to last a whole long, maybe six months to a year. But if you go with a deep cycle battery, these kind of batteries are used on trolling motors and other things. Um, this kind of battery is used in like kids' electric scooters and toys. Um, and these are designed for a real heavy draw. And they're designed to be discharged and recharged at a, at a constant rate. So this is going to last you a couple of years at least. They're a little bit more expensive, but they give you a lot more power. They last a lot longer on a charge as well. Now, that being said, um, let me show you the different uh, charging options that we have. Now I'm going to pull the camera back a little bit, and I'm going to show you. Actually, I'm going to bring the camera in just a little bit so I can show you what I have here. Now, what I do is, like on my cooler that I have here, I'll show you in just a minute. I have these ports right here. Let me make sure I can, you can see me on camera here. And these are really nice because you can see they have terminals on the on the back side with some uh, lock nuts there. And you can get you a, a wire and a ring connector, put it under there, and tighten it down. And then on top here, you have your red and black for your positive and negative. Now, the way you charge these is you take your charger and you add these banana clips, or banana plugs as they're called. And of course you can see they're color coded red and black. And what they do is they're just going to plug in just like that onto your device. And as soon as you plug them in and plug in your charger, it's going to start charging. It's going to work really great. The only thing you got to be real careful of though is, especially you guys that are like me that you're going to line your inside of your box with dyno mat. The dyno mat is conductive. So what you want to do is cut a space around the dyno mat where the connectors come through to make sure that they're not going to be touching the dyno mat in any way. That way you're not going to have a short between the terminals. You're going to short out your battery and short out your charger. And these work really, really well. Now these banana plugs are really easy to install. All you have to do is just unscrew them and feed your... You know, uh, strip your wire back about an inch, stick it through, and then bend the wire over and tuck it inside here. And I don't know if you can see, there's these teeth right there. They're going to grab the wire, and you're going to have your solid wire coming through like this. And just go ahead and screw the top in, and that's going to lock your wires into place. Now, these come in different values. Um, these are a little bit more expensive. I think these are about $11 or $12 for six of them. So they're about what two bucks a piece, two bucks a pair, give or take, maybe three dollars a pair. I like them; they work really well. They do have some cheaper models. Just be careful what you buy. I go ahead and get the, the, the heavy duty ones. And this is what it's going to look like on your device. So let me pull back a little bit the camera. Hello, Duke. Duke's over here hanging out a little bit. And show you here on my cooler. As you can see, there's my my charging ports. Right here, there's my positive, my negative. Now, this one here is the old charging port because I actually um, refurbished this cooler. It used to be lithium ion. You've seen me install these lithium ion connectors before. And I just left it in there and installed these two right here. I also have this same set up on my 40 millimeter that you saw me do. This is I put them on the side and it's a great way to charge them. Now what you can do if you don't want anything to short these terminals out, but you can actually put a switch right next to them to cut these terminals off when you're not using them as charging. I have actually have that on my 40 millimeter, so these terminals aren't connected right to the battery when I'm not using them. 
and they work really, really good. Let me see if I can open this up. You can see the back side of it. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this upside down. And if you can see that too well, let me try to zoom in here. Let's see. Let me turn this sideways here. And as you can see right here, you see how they come through, and you see how I have the ring terminals and I have the dyno mat way away from them because the dyno mat. Is, is conductive because it's got the aluminum foil on it and it works really really good and you just basically run this down and you tie it in with your battery you tee it in and then you branch off that to your fuse and then you go to your components so that works really really good now let me show you the other method of charging I'm going to put this away all together Give me just a second here. I don't have to edit the videos. Now, let me show you one more real quick. Let me go ahead and zoom this back down a little bit. Um, now, here's something else you can use. You could use these. I've used this in the past. I use this on my zombie box. If you don't want your terminals out exposed, you can actually use these speaker terminals here. And they work just as good. And again, the same concept. You just plug in your negative. Plug in your positive, and they're kind of protected. They're still not waterproof, so you can't use them in a water wet location. But they give you kind of a flush look if you have the room to do that. A little fancier. Work really, really good. And of course, you just screw it in and tie in on the back there. And it works exactly the same as these. So that's another option. Now, if you want to use it in a wet location, let me show you what I did here on this box. Let me go up a little bit here. Oh, perfect. Now you can see right here, this is a, it's actually called a solar connector plug. And it's right here, and it's got, you got to have four holes, and you have to draw a, uh, drill a larger hole for the wires to come through. And it's got a female plug right there. Now you're probably thinking, where do I get the connector for that? Well, let me show you. Most of your battery chargers have different connections, like your battery tender. I use a die hard, and it can just unplug your connectors here, and then it'll plug in just like that and again it'll start charging your battery and these are great because these connections are waterproof so once you close that cap up the water can get in there so these are great if you're going to have a cooler with lead acid battery where the terminals might get wet or if you can build you an ammo box where the terminals might get wet um, that'd be actually probably actually built this box originally as a waterproof box so that's the reason i use this connector and it works fantastic and works really good. These key connectors are a little bit more expensive than the other one. These here, you can get a bag of these for, oh, maybe seven or eight dollars. Um, these here are about 13 or 14 dollars a piece. But again, if you have a wet location, it's a must. And as you can see, the connector just plugs right in. Plugs right in. There you go. Just like that. And most of your um, chargers come with extra connectors. So you can um, change them out like that. So let me go ahead and put this back. Now let me plug this back in and I'll tell you about my, my charger. Now, I used to use the battery tender. I think it's a great charger. The one thing about the battery tender, it does charge a little slow. So I started using, let me get up here, excuse me, the camera here. I started using this Die Hard uh, charger. I like about it because it charges about almost twice as fast as the uh, battery tender. It's a great charger. It's got the indicator lights on it. It's got a much longer cord and, and now the brick is in the middle versus the battery tender where the brick is actually on the wall. Or they call it a wall board. Here the brick is in the middle but you got a really long cord. And the nice thing about these versus the battery tender is the battery tender really doesn't like charging a car battery. You really got to buy the more heavy duty battery tender. This will charge a car battery if you need to or a motorcycle battery or anything like that. It works great on your uh, bigger batteries that you use for your builds. My 20 millimeter back here has an 18 amp hour battery, works fine. My 40 millimeter actually has two 10 amp hour batteries, 20 amp hours, does just fine. There's Duke, he's kind of sneaking up on us. Come on Duke, get up here. So the cool thing is the Die Hard only costs a dollar more than the battery tender. I think the battery tender is $26. I think the Die Hard is $27 on Amazon. Hello Duke. What you doing? 
Now I'm going to try to get this video up this afternoon. Today it's Saturday about 11.30 in the morning. And uh, I'm going to have this video up later. And as soon as the video goes up, I'm going to get you guys links in the, in the comment section to the battery charger and all the connectors that I mentioned and to Amazon. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, hello, Duke. Let me see if we can pull back the camera a little bit so we can see Duke a little better. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Duke. Duke's having a really good day. He uh, he kind of got into a fight last night with Linus. He just Linus has been getting on his nerves. The little black kitten that you saw in one of my videos. But you always got to show him your best side, don't you? And uh, the other day we heard from somebody in California. So say hi, Duke. Say hi to California. And uh, one of his fans. So thank you, everybody. We heard from Ireland, South Africa, uh, the Philippines and all across the United States. So thank you guys so much for watching. We're having a good time. I hope this answers your questions about uh, charging your battery externally with a lead acid battery. And you guys have seen me how I do the connector for the uh, uh, lithium ion battery in another video. But this way you don't have to open your ammo box to charge it. You can use uh, these charging connectors and adapt your charger to plug right into it. And so I hope this answers your questions. I'll have more videos coming up soon, and got a big 40 millimeter build coming up in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. Well, here comes Linus. Come here, Linus. Come on. This is the one that terrorizes Duke. Come on. Come on, Linus. You're the newest member of the club. Let me see if I can get him over here. Come here. There's Linus. This is Linus. He's Duke's tormentor. You can see he's already going after his tail. But um, they keep life interesting. Elizabeth's around here somewhere. That's Duke's cousin. And Elizabeth doesn't like Linus at all. <laughs> because she's old and she'll like to be messed with. And he's still a kitten. He's only six months old. Look how big this cat is at six months old. He's half the size of Duke now. Absolutely amazing. Make sure y'all can see him good. Yeah, there he is. What do you think, Duke? All right, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Oh, there we go. My first cat fight on video. So, <laughs> cats keep life interesting, don't you, Duke? Duke? Duke keeps things interesting around here. All right, guys, hope it answered your questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll put links in the description below in the video and the uh, comments, and we'll see you next time.